Hey there guys, welcome to Fishing Up Carp Days and today we are on a new lake for you Rick mm -hmm. and a lake which I've been fishing on and off for about a year and a half now. Me and my dad, we did start trying to film a video here last year, however we had a couple fish out on different sessions and it wasn't really enough to make a full video so I've come back this summer and I'm dying to get another one out so I'll finish it off for you and show you some of the amazing fish which we've caught, well my dad's caught, he got a really nice one. <laughs> That's why I've come back, I'm not making a video of Alma in it. But I am joined today by Rick, how are you doing Rick? Yeah good yeah, first time at the lake so uh, hopefully we'll pull something out today. Yeah. I'm a bit clueless on where to start if I'm honest. So. <laughs> I rate though, I do think that you're going to catch before me. We'll have to see what we're... <laughs> I, think, I think you're going to fluke it first time, I really do. I think. The amount of hours I've put into this place, I'll let you so, just yeah. come along and get one. That being said guys, we're all really nice fishing here and they do get to a decent size as well. It's not the easiest water but that just makes it all more exciting and more of a challenge. Well we get set up for the afternoon and for the evening. Um, have a look at what happened on the first session when I came with my dad the first time we ever fished this place. I unfortunately had nothing, but dad as he always does managed to get one out and it was a decent fish as well. Take a look. Hey there guys, welcome back to Fishing Up Carp Days. I know it's the morning, I know it's nice and bright, but I have actually been here since last night. I got here really, really late because I came straight from work and by the time I got here, it started to get dark. It was a mad rush before dark to get absolutely everything in and fishing. So I didn't really have time to do much filming, unfortunately, and to be honest, you didn't miss much, nothing happened. It's still bite time at the moment. It's about eight, nine in the morning, so it's just coming to the end of bite time. I'm going to wait for it to hit maybe about 11, 11.30, pushing 12, and then I'm going to take him in. I'm going to check the depth one more time because I know there is a, well not a drop off, but it slowly drops down into like a big bowl. I just want to kind of find out where that is because I think I was just a bit too close last night. I'm going to have one rod further out towards the middle of the lake and I'm also going to keep one rod in. I know I'm looking at all the other anglers and they're really casting out to the middle. I always think never neglect the margins or close to you and especially I've got this really bit, big bit of weed right in front of me, it's like a metre, metre and a half. I think I'd be a fool not to kind of cast near there because fish do swim around features like that and I don't know, it's just too good not to do it. Talking 19, 1953. 1953. 19, Give you 19 and a half. 1962, yeah, it's around about 19 and a half. About so, you're about 16, 15 pound there. Let's have a look at the fella. So, you're looking at, say, 15 and a half, 16, you got there, Dad? Yeah, nice little fella. Should we get a picture of him? Yeah, yeah. Lovely, isn't he? How's about that, guys and girls, eh? Okay. Let me a minute. Can we get your head out? There he goes. Look at that, too. What a fish. He's still down there, look. How you feeling? Pretty money supermarket, yeah, it's very good there. 
You've been here two hours, I've been in here 30, and you've got one and I haven't. <laughs> it's just one of those things, I'm filthy, absolutely filthy, but that was great. Well guys, we're losing the light now, and I think I've been here about 31 hours. Dad has been here about, not even three, and he's already had a 16, 17 pound mirror carp. So just uh So there um, you go, but uh, yeah it's we're good. We're lo losing the light now aren't we? Maybe one yeah. more in the night time but uh yeah. I'm glad one of us had brand new venue one of us had and <coughs> we might get one in overnight, you never know. And I just in case I've got a, a catfish one out just in the hope of, yeah. of catching something else, you know. And I'm talking to you guys this way because dad's just told me, I don't know what it is, I think I've been bitten in the night, but the side of my face is swollen up and it's <laughs> huge. So I'm going to be like that for the rest of the trip now. Um, and also my head's itching because I feel like I've got midges everywhere. But wow. right, dad, you up for evening? Yeah, I am. It's a tough life fishing, so yeah. I know, yeah. I'm not so. a shower in two days. <laughs> <Yeah>. Right. <laughs> you good? Wish us luck. All right, cheers. Don't, uh, Thanks, don't catch another one, dad. <laughs> I've never heard of them, Dad. That was just one tone, wasn't it? Yeah, catfish always are. Who invited you in this trip, Dad? <laughs> guys so we can get the catfish in. It's a little bit chilly isn't it? Right, let's try and get it through all that weed there. Wish us luck. Well, believe it or not guys, it's come off. I honestly have no idea how it came off that. You had the pressure on all the time and it just went Straighten the hook, has it? The only way it could have done it is, is if it's managed to work its way through the weed. Oh, what a shame. Oh, I'll try another one. Well, guys, that was quite an interesting evening for me. But I'm afraid poor old James here, who sat in this swim. I don't think he uh, he pulled his rod out once for two days. He's just sat oh, here. I did, and I did to pack away. <laughs> he did. He pulled it out to pack away. But um, yeah, I got the I got the carp last night, and um, kept getting little knocks here and there on both my rods. And um, three o'clock this morning, it just screamed off. Mm. Uh, it set off like an express train, and I jumped up, and I ran out in my bare feet. And a struck and a definitely a catfish. Um, yeah. Probably ten minutes I was trying to get him in, but the weed was really, really thick. And sometimes you could feel the catfish on, sometimes you could feel the weed, and it all went dead. And then the catfish would be up again, and you'd bring him in a bit further, and there's more weed. And all of a sudden, I thought, oh, he's getting, he's got to be nearer the bank now. And I was just pulling, 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 and the next thing it freed up. And sadly, all I got back was my hook and my bait. It must have slipped the hook. I think probably the pressure had come off mm. enough to slip the hook because we, we're not using barbed hooks. No. And I think he's, you know, it just managed to slip the hook. So whether we should have had a bigger hook, whether we were just unlucky, I don't know. But um, having done 90% of the work, it's pretty frustrating when all he pull out yeah. is a bit of weed on the end of your rod. We've not much um, time left on the camera. It's running out of whatever it is. Runs Memory's out of like it. that, in it. Literally yeah, ten so, seconds. Uh, yeah. 
Definitely coming back here, great place, lovely uh, scenery, lots of rats running around your feet last night as well, so a <laughs> bit, of, bit of everything, you know, wildlife, fish, a right. lot. See you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. Well guys, I hope you enjoyed that clip. That was the first session we ever did here and Dad had that absolutely stunning mirror carp out and it was a decent size as well. That being said, you've not missed much this afternoon. There's been loads of fish jumping on the surface, but it's got really still now. The sun's gone away, it's still really warm and we're just hoping that something's gonna happen tonight. I'm gonna have to pack all the gear away now because I can hear the thunderstorm coming. It started to fun, uh, well, yeah, started to thunder. I've seen no lightning yet. So for now, we get all this stuff away, get in bed, and hopefully we'll have one out either this evening or tonight. And if we don't, I'll come up with some excuses in the morning as to why we didn't catch. So it's good night from me, and a good night from me. See you soon. If this comes our way, it's gonna be ruthless. This footage that we're recording now, you'll see on like the news channel or something, found phone next to a pile of ashes. <laughs> Better not joke about that actually. Oh, that's weeded me up. Yeah. You got the net? It's around there. Well, I was worried it's not on there. Don't rush it. Don't rush it, Jane. This guy's not giving up. I knew it was going to go off all morning. I've been getting liners. Oh, yeah. Say what, mate? You might have to. Oh my god, my god. Yes! <laughs>
point where I think we should have come out here. It's in the centre. It's a cart, really. Well, guys, take a look at that. <laughs> this morning I've been getting liners all morning, and I thought I'm definitely in for one. And then about 10 minutes ago, the alarm just zoomed off, and we've had this absolute monster out. Now, someone's just joined us, and he said that just before spawning, it was above 30. It's coming about 31.5 at the moment, so it's just less than 30. But I don't care. <laughs> I'm over the moon. That is awesome. What a fish. Definitely the biggest I've ever had. And the amount of time we've put into this place, I'm buzzing to be able to get something like this out. Absolutely buzzing. What do you think of that, Rick? Just insane, mate. And we've still got a night left. We've still got a night left. Oh, look at the tail on that. Look at the tail on that. What a lovely creature. A little zoom in for you. How's it looking, Rick? <laughs> Alright, should we get some pictures? Let's do it. Well guys, it's time to say goodbye to a what an incredible start to the session. If I don't get any more, I won't be bothered. I'm over the moon. I've not caught a carp this big since last season. It wasn't this big. <laughs> what a creature. I'll remember this for years to come. Nice one Rick for coming along. Cheers to taking my bait. <laughs> what a session. Yes! I am over the moon! <laughs> Alright, we ready? One more zoom in. <laughs> Beautiful. Let's get her back. Well guys, it's time to put her back. Last look at her. <clears throat> there she is. <laughs> I was going to try and maybe just put her a little bit out of the water to get a uh, sharp but she was straight <laughs> off. Fishing! This is what it's about. This is what it's about. I don't know what time in the morning it is, but I'm soaking wet, covered in slime, starving. Haven't had a drink. Breath probably stinks. Sorry, Rick. And <laughs> still the happiest boy on this planet. I'm on again. I got another one. I got another one there. Oh, this is insane. Don't feel as big though. We did say it would go off again, didn't we? I think I found the spot, mate. Oh, I don't know where fish. This is insane. Oh, they don't look too bad, actually. Do you know what? They don't seem, the other one did this, they don't seem to put up a fight at the start and then they get close in and they zoom off. There you go, Rick. Yes! How's it looking? <laughs> well guys, second fish, this one came 10 minutes after the first and it 
about 23 and a half on the scales. We found out that the sling's probably about three, three and a half. So I think this is our second 20 of the morning. Oh, I am so, so happy. I really am. What a fish. The place has not been too kind to us in the past, but I've kept with it, kept coming. And on the first night already, we've got two fish out and I'm absolutely buzzing. And this one is pristine. It's such a beautiful fish. It really, really is. <laughs> yes. Oh, there we go, guys. Look. <laughs> it's not happy with me. He keeps slapping me in the face with his tail. Lovely carp. Over the moon. I think this might be my new favourite place to go, Rick. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. What a morning now, we've got to get all the rods back in because they've all been taken out. Two fish in about half an hour. One's 29, the other one was 29, we just weighed the net, it's 29. And this one is definitely looking about 20. <sighs> we caught another one, it's just icing on the cake. I don't think we deserve it, but I'm going to try for it. <laughs> Fantastic. <laughs> I like, is that my bite alarm or not? <laughs> I, like, I can't feel my receiver. <laughs> Just in case you were about to say or comment that I've left my rods and I shouldn't leave them. Rods at the moment are not in. Just going to let the swim settle and when the afternoon hits Get the spots back out there, get the rods back out there, the mark floats, everything back out there, and fish it then. Well, Rick, time to settle in for the evening. How are you feeling? Tired, hot. <laughs> Tired and hot. A little bit disappointed, but you know, just fishing in it. Yeah, yeah. Still got tonight though. Always disappointed when I go fishing. <laughs> Still got tonight, so hopefully we'll pull some out I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. I'm sure we will. Well, it's the afternoon now. The morning's been and it's gone and we've had the fish out we had a really really fantastic time this morning since then the afternoon's been a bit slow we've taken the opportunity to rebate the areas i've casted both my rigs out i've casted them on the same spot using the same tactics i'm just hoping that consistently putting bait in the same area is going to keep the fish there and we've got one night to get another fish now while we sit here and wait for these rods to go off why don't you have a look at the second session I did here. Uh, this time I came on my own. My dad did join me later on, but he only visited for a couple of hours. The session was no way near as good as our first session or this session, but we did 
actually no, I'm trying to remember now. Oh no, sorry, I didn't have any carp. I ended up catching some tench, so they're really nice tench. I'll show you those clips. And just like last night, there was a huge thunderstorm last time I came here as well. And it just seems every time I turn up, it absolutely hammers it down. We've got lightning and thunder. That being said, guys, enjoy that clip while we wait for this afternoon spell to pass by. And hopefully next time you see me, it'll be at the start of bite time and maybe a bit more activity. Enjoy. So I'm gonna get ready for night now. I'm gonna get really early night. It's a thunderstorm hitting tonight. So I'm gonna lock the bivvy down, get everything inside, make sure it's nice and dry, and just kind of get nice and cozy. Anyway, guys, I'm gonna get in there and go to bed. Next time I see you, we breakfast. Nice morning. After that thunderstorm last night, I was right asleep because I got no sleep last night. Got an hour of sleep this morning. Alarm went off. Felt a bit of resistance, not too much. But I have had my first fish of the trip, and it's absolutely lovely. A little tench. There we go. Really dark green this one. I've had about an hour's sleep, if that, and I'm absolutely knackered, but I'm caught one of these for a while. The lovely fish. Make them jump. Not a carp, but it's a really nice tench. Look at that. A huge tail they've all got. Now, I know it's not what we came for. We did come for carp, but it's been so long since I've caught these. I really, really don't mind. And they're such lovely fish as well. Well guys, found the night now, sun's going down, we're in the bivvy, we've got everything crossed, let's hope we get another one.
right guys, I've got to go up early, so I'm going to be heading up now. All packed up, ready to go. I'll see you next time. I'm still in bed. <laughs> see, see you in a bit, Rick. See you later, mate. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Hey, Rick. Well, guys, it's the end of the session now. Unfortunately, last night was really quiet and nothing happened. And I've just held off a little bit this morning in the hope that another one will come out. But unfortunately, the rods haven't moved and it's been absolutely dead. Rick had to get off early this morning. So I think he left about half seven. I'm just staying here to about half nine, ten. I've got about ten more minutes left for us to pull the rods in. But at the moment, all the gear's packed away. I'm ready to go home. I've just still got my fingers crossed for that last one, but if I'm being honest with you, it's looking doubtful. That being said, it's been an absolutely brilliant journey. Although we caught everything on the first night, I still have fully enjoyed it. And it's always nice to have that one fish at the end just to finish it all off. But I am over the moon with this trip. I've been to this venue a couple of times now, I've seen some decent fish come out and all in all I've really really enjoyed my time here. I probably will be back in the future to give it another go but for now we are looking at another venue to try next time. We haven't got too long left of the carp season before pike season starts so we might get one more video out but we are really focusing on the bigger waters now and with the bigger waters you get a lot more blanks. <laughs> you do if you me anyway, I'm sure those experts out there catch all the time but that does mean probably we won't be able to make as many videos as we want to, but I think the bigger waters, the bigger fish, that's the way to go from now on. That being said, I'm going to get everything ready, guys. I'm going to start making my way home. <clears throat> Thank you for watching. We hope you've enjoyed this, uh, this video, and thanks for supporting the videos and the channel, and we'll see you next time, probably for another Carp Days episode, but who knows, if I blank, it'll probably be moving on to pike season. <laughs> see you soon.